Foraging for food is a foreign concept for many of us today. When we're hungry, we can find food conveniently in our refrigerator, in the aisles of our local grocery store, or at our favorite restaurant. However, historically speaking, our brains evolved during a time when foraging was far more intricate. During bouts of hunger, we were forced to leave the security of our dwellings and venture into potentially dangerous environments to find food to ensure survival. We had to contend with harsh climate conditions, predation, defending our territory from potential enemies, as well as processing competing innate drives, such as thirst and the opportunity to mate and pass down our DNA. In a laboratory setting, these behaviors and motivations are often studied separately with strict control over experimental variables. However, from an ethological perspective, these systems rarely, if ever, operate in isolation without impinging on one another. This concept is pretty obvious, as all organisms need to flexibly choose, in real time, the motivation of the highest priority for survival. Hunger is one of the strongest internal homeostatic drives in nature, signaling the need to feed. We were interested in studying hunger in relation to other motivated behaviors. Agouti-related peptide neurons located in the arcuate nucleus of the hypothalamus have long been recognized as an instrumental component of feeding behavior. Acute activation of these neurons rapidly and robustly promotes voracious feeding. Here, we are photostimulating AGRP neurons employing optogenetic techniques. When we first observed this striking behavior a few years back, it was in a controlled environment looking solely at food intake. However, whether AGRP neurons can modulate other behaviors is not well known. For example, how does hunger integrate with self-preservation behaviors, innate response to predator cues, water deprivation, and the drive to defend territory or to procreate? To begin to probe these questions, we initiate an array of behavioral assays. To maximize survival, mice normally avoid putting themselves in dangerous situations such as large open areas where they're maximally exposed to predation. Here, we use an apparatus known to induce anxiety-related behavior in mice. We wanted to explore whether hunger can subdue anxiety-like responses in the absence or presence of food positioned in an exposed, vulnerable environment. Although both sated and hungry mice actively avoided the open zone when a non-salient, non-food object was located in the middle of the arena, we found that the addition of food in the middle of the apparatus significantly escalated the time spent in center zone in hungry mice compared to SATA controls. Innate fear is a basic and natural mechanism by which organisms evade danger. A volatile chemical produced by foxes, TMT, has been shown to incite fear-like and aversive behavior in mice, enabling remote or contact-based detection of predator cues. We assessed whether physiological or artificial hunger could supersede the inherent avoidance of this odorant in the absence or presence of food in a two-chambered assay. In the absence of food, all mice avoided the TMT-paired chamber of the apparatus and spent minimal time with a non-food, non-salient object located in the TMT zone. However, this chamber preference shifted dramatically in both physiologically and artificially induced hungry mice when food was available, as these mice actually spent significantly more time in the TMT-paired chamber, and a large portion of the entire assay in the TMT zone consuming food compared to sated controls. Rodents are naturally social animals demonstrating high interaction rates with conspecifics. To analyze the effects of hunger on social interactions, a proxy of mating or aggression, we exposed experimental animals, socially isolated, sexually naive males, to either a receptive female or juvenile male, respectively, confined to a social cage in the absence or presence of food. As expected, both sated and hungry animals spent the majority of their time in the chamber paired with the conspecific when food wasn't freely available. On the other hand, while sated controls continued to display a strong preference for the conspecific paired chamber in the presence of food, both physiologically and artificially induced hungry animals reversed this initial preference, spending a significant amount of time in the allocated food zone. These behavioral data help demonstrate the sufficiency of AGRP neurons in prioritizing feeding over orthogonal motivated behaviors. But we were interested in, in their acute physiological response to these varied external stimuli. Fortunately, new photometry optical techniques allow us to monitor neural activity in real time through changes in fluorescence. Simply put, more activity corresponds to brighter quantified fluorescence. 
the question we were interested in was, how does AGRP neural activity change in response to different environmental cues? In line with other studies, in hungry mice, AGRP activity rapidly drops in the presence of food. However, we found that AGRP neurons do not respond to water, predator scent, or non-salient non-food object. Surprisingly, when we introduced another mouse, AGRP neurons displayed a transient robust increase corresponding to initial investigative contact of the conspecific. One interpretation may be that another animal signals competition for resources, enhancing the priority of finding food. This idea of intraspecific competition is prevalent throughout the animal kingdom. In summary, hunger has the capacity to strongly influence other non-feeding behaviors, and these changes can be recapitulated by simply switching on a couple thousand hypothalamic neurons. When we're hungry, the desire to defend our home, protect ourselves from attack, or to finally approach that person we've had our eye on may not be as important as finding food. AGRP neurons are certainly involved in shaping these behavioral choices, but further work is necessary to identify how information is transmitted and integrated with other neural circuits to ultimately guide our behaviors.